will go on the record in the matter of People v. Igor Bryman, docket H39165. This is one of the saddest cases I've ever had occasion to sentence because it involves young lives and it involves your life as well. And I know again that you're sorry, I understand that, but there are too many lives that have been destroyed by your conduct on that evening. You have killed three innocent young people and you've sentenced another one, as I indicated, to life in a wheelchair. You took it upon yourself to change these lives and you must be held accountable for that. So I don't wanna hear about how sorry you are. I don't wanna hear any of those kinds of things. And as I indicated, if I could give you more time, I would. I would sentence you to life in prison if I could. As you sit in your jail cell with the murderers and robbers and rapists and everyone else, I hope that you'll reflect upon the enormity of the decision that you made in that split second. You warrant a sentence in the state prison. For the conviction of gross vehicular manslaughter, I sentence you to the aggravated and maximum term of 10 years in the state prison. On count two, I sentence you to one-third the midterm of an additional two years in the state prison. For the third count, I'll sentence you to one-third the midterm of two years in the state prison. And for the fourth count, for driving under the influence, causing great bodily injury, I'll sentence you to one-third the midterm. Your total aggregate term in the state prison is 15 years. Friends would probably say that I'm funny and kind of crazy. I think I'm the kind of person that people like to be around. I like to consider myself very outgoing, maybe a caring kind of guy. I think my friends would say that I'm pretty happy, positive, um, always there for them. I hope that they know that. I think my friends would say that I'm I'm really uh, sincere. I think they know that I'm really respectful and that I that I really, I hold true to myself. I would say I'm a very caring person, a very honest person, um, a very sincere person. Um, I think I am a pretty chill guy. Cash Valley High School is very diverse, and I think it has something to offer for everybody. Castro Valley definitely is an outgoing school. Castro Valley is a party school. For everyone else, it's something different. For some people, Castro Valley is the quiet study school. For me, Castro Valley is an ongoing, crazy festival. Juan's a tall man. <laughs> <laughs> He's a baby face. He's adorable. Um, I'm actually into basketball, primarily. Football, baseball, soccer. Basketball is my life. It keeps me sane. Erin, on the other hand, I've known her since my freshman year. She, she introduced herself to me, so I would have to say she's very friendly and outgoing. Gabe is very tan, and I believe he swims. Gabe is somebody that I've known for a large amount of years, and I think he's just a genuine sweetheart. I'm pretty close to my family. Uh, we like to hang out, go on vacation, do stuff together. I think the drinking life here at Castanelli High School is glorious. I drink because it is fun. I'm with my friends and we have fun drinking and then you meet new friends when you drink and then you forget about them. I find absolutely no problem with drinking. We could be a party school if we wanted to. I guess, kind of. I think that we do have like people that do party but there's people that don't party as well. I don't think it's completely a party school. Some people will talk about parties, but I don't party. Uh, later today, um, today's a big game, so we're going to Igor's house for pregame party to get drunk. Later today, I'm going to the basketball game, driving Jasmine, she's cheering. I'm gonna watch Juan Anderson own. Go for it. Come on, Eric. Wait, wait, one more shot before we go. <laughs> Okay, I guess I can do it. Right. One more. Right. You guys haven't had enough? I'm no, one more. Right. One more. Woo! What, what, what are we toasting to? One. 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 Yeah! yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. You go! <laughs>
Alright, let's go then. Let's go. Wait, hey, wait. bring your stuff. Let me drive. Let me drive. Really. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Like, it's, it's a big shot. You sure? I'm Russian. I'm Ukrainian. I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. Don't hey, worry about you. Sure? Yeah, okay, man. Positive. Of course not. Yeah. 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 Aaron's gotta get shotgun. I need a girl bag. Right. Oh, why a girl? <laughs> you know. Actually, that I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who are we going against? Um, yeah, who are we fighting today? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, I'm texting Amanda. Mm. Where, where is she gonna be? Uh, hey, Hogarth. Like, Slow right down a little. Do I phone sick pictures? Yes. Just look at the road. Just pay attention. I'm paying attention to the road. It's not even a problem. No, no. Give me your phone. I'm putting my Igor. phone under my... Okay, all right. Slow down. Slow down, Igor. Slow down. Igor, really. Yeah. Oh, you should take a video. Okay. The, you, we gotta remember this. You ready? You. ready? I'm about to pull a Tyler Banks. Okay. Pull Tyler Banks. You ready? Yeah, yeah I'm ready. ready. Watch Igor. <laughs> 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 Go Igor! Go Igor! Go Igor! Go Igor! Go Igor. Go Igor. Go Igor. Hi, Gabe! Hi! Can, can Igor, can you guys watch the- Hi, Gabe! Hey. I'm watching the- Hi, Gabe! Hey, hey, you're distracting <laughs> Igor, come on. Look, look at yourself. Oh. No, that's look not- at, <laughs> I can't see Look at yourself. Just let him drive, let him drive. Hold on, let, let me- Take yeah. hey, the phone or something. Just stop. Wake up in the morning, see you then, like- Hey, take his phone or something. Why are you? Look, I'm just gonna take Why the phone with this. Why are you Igor, crying? Give me the phone. Why are you Igor, crying? I'm
I'll do this here you get that. Talk to me. What's your name? Uh, What's your name? Juan. And this is Unit 597 coming in code 3 with a trauma activation. On board we have a 16, approximately a 16 year old female involved in a major traffic incident. Uh, approximately a 16 year old female, she was a restrained passenger and she was unresponsive on scene, did have a pulse at that time. Since then she got airbagged and, and she also has a right on arm the right fracture. Here. Oh, okay. Then an open fracture on the right thigh here, femur breath sounds on the left. We can get a chest x-ray, prepare for a chest tube. Okay, get the chest tube ready. Fix the dilation. We have a 16 in the left hand. Second dose of You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. If you have, you have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present while you are being questioned. Get my legs! What? 
I have oh a basketball okay. game. All right, well, you won't be able to make that game. I'm sorry, no, but you need to fix that I have leg to. of yours, okay? Squeeze my hand. Give me a good squeeze. Do you feel me touching you at all? Can you wiggle your toes for me at all? I think that he has a uh, spinal injury, so I'm going to get him to my legs. I think this is a DUI. Your blood will be necessary. To have for evidence when we go to court. Any questions? I got into an accident. It was my car and somebody else's car. I'm not drunk right now. I was drunk, though. It's not my fault, Mom. I don't know what happened. We were driving, and then all of a sudden there was this other car, and we crashed into it, and... I know I can't do this, Mom, but it's, it's already happened. I don't know what to do anymore. Okay, I love you too, Mom. So are you having uh, pain anywhere right now? It's getting covered right. up. Your head? Okay. Is the scanner ready for us? Yep, the scanner okay, ready. Okay, let's go. One, and two. Okay. We'll be done in a few minutes. Thank you. Doctor feels like you're going to be okay. All right. Juan? Juan, are you with me? I kind of told her a little bit of what's going on with you, okay? And now I'll tell you, okay? Uh. Okay. Get through my legs. Okay. So, you know, you have an injury of the spinal cord, which is why you can't feel your legs. Okay. So we've called the neurosurgeon in to evaluate that, and you possibly might need surgery. You definitely need surgery for your femur on the right side. You have an open fracture. Okay. Um, as far as being able to walk, I can't really give you much information on that. There may be a possibility that you won't ever be able to walk. Okay. So I'm sorry about that, but we'll do our best. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus, we ask right now, Father, okay. that you would bring full recovery to one. Father, we know that these injuries were not within your will, so we leave him now in your hand, dear God. And we ask that you would be with the doctors, the nurses, and everyone else that will be with him in that surgery and in his recovery process. Father, I especially pay, pray for peace for him and for his mother right now as they endure this difficult circumstance. In the name of your son, we ask these things. source of blood loss here, just not distended, but how long have we been doing this? Half an hour? All right. That's it. Go ahead, call it. 11.50. Are the parents notified? Can someone call the parents, please? Igor, come here. Does this mean I'm done? You understand people have died over this just because of your stupidity in drinking and driving. You're barely 18, you have the rest of your life ahead of you, and here you go, you kill other people. Those guys aren't gonna go home tonight. They'll never go home. Their families will never ever see them again. From here, you're gonna go to our county jail. So forget about seeing mommy and daddy tonight, tomorrow night, next week, next year. You will be going to state prison for a very long time. You understand me? Yes, sir. Do you have any other questions for me? No, sir. All right, have a seat.
Mr. McDermott? Yes. Uh, may I have a minute with your uh, time? I, my name is Chaplain Larry Vold. I'm with the Alameda County Fire Department, and I need a private moment with you, sir. I need to talk to you about an incident that happened with your son, Gabe, today. Mr. and Mrs. Fong. Hi, I'm Dr. Zina. As you know, uh, your daughter Yasmin was brought in uh, by ambulance. She was involved in an accident. She was an unrestrained passenger and um, was es essentially found uh, not to have a pulse uh, on scene. And despite um, our concerted efforts and uh, uh, many attempts, we were unable to resuscitate her. And no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm sorry, no. No, no. Her injuries were fatal. Oh no, you're wrong. You're wrong. You must try some more. Try some more. Oh, oh no. The effect I have on my dad's life is I'm kind of, I'm his only child and he was excited when he found out he was having a girl. I think I'm kind of his everything. I think if I died, my family would be pretty devastated and uh, I think my dad would think about when I was born and what he, what he went through to raise me and uh, I think he'd be pretty heartbroken and just completely different after. He would probably stop doing most of the things that he does and, and I guess be kind of mute in a way. My plan is to attend college uh, for basketball, then get a degree in business um, I mean, I have the grades to go to college for basketball, but my mom can't afford to send me to college, you know, with the tuition, so losing my mobility. But it just changed my life drastically. I don't know what I'd do. Um, I wouldn't be able to cope with life. Basketball is my life. When I play basketball, all my problems go away. So just dealing with the world would just be too much for me. Well, without basketball, I might not go to college with my mom having four kids, and she is already paying tuition for my older brother to attend college, so I might not be going to college. We'll go on the record in the matter of People versus Igor Bryman, docket H39165. The matter's on for sentencing this afternoon. What I'd like to do, though, is to see if there's any additional comment from either the district attorney, from any victims, from defense counsel. Igor, you know who I am? I'm Gabe's dad. We spent 18 years raising him, loving him. He was just about to head off to college. You know Gabe, he was gonna make a big difference. It was gonna be a big deal, because he was a special, special guy. You've taken him. And you just, one act on your part, gone, gone. I don't know what punishment is enough for you. I want you to remember this smile and face that you grew up with too. When good things happen to you, think about Gabe. Because nothing good is ever gonna happen to him again. That's all. Igor, you need to pay for your bad decision. I don't know, I can't, if I can forgive you at this point, but you're gonna pay for this, and I hope that the, you'll be punished to the full extent of the law. I'm gonna miss my daughter so much, and I don't even know why you drank. Why did you have to drink and drive? I, I just don't even know what I, why I get up in the morning anymore. That's why I get up for my kids, and, and now I don't have her anymore, and 
and I miss her so much. This is one of the saddest cases I've ever had occasion to sentence. You have killed three innocent young people and you've sentenced another one, as I indicated, to life in a wheelchair. You took it upon yourself to change these lives and you must be held accountable for that. You warrant a sentence in the state prison. Your total aggregate term in the state prison is 15 years. As you sit in your jail cell with the murderers and robbers and rapists and everyone else, I hope that you'll reflect upon the enormity of the decision that you made in that split second. Judgment will be imposed as ordered. My family probably means the most to me. My dad and I are really close. If I were to pass away, my dad would, he would, uh, it'd be hard for him. My mom would have a hard time too. They're, both of them, it would be really hard. Um, she's always wanted the best for me. She always wants the best for me. I think for all that to go away, she would be devastated.